Hey Paris, happy Father's Day to you all the fathers out there, whether you're subscribed or you're just watching from the Jamaican Debbie Deb strain. If you're subscribed, if you're a subscriber, if you're a supporter, if you're just a viewer, even if you're a troll, happy Father's Day to blessed, happy Father's Day to you all out there. These are, you know them at who already, my son, and called my kids, and you know daddy's there. Okay, so the, today, I daddy dear. So I guess we are gonna be like reversing what was done on Mother's Day, um, for me, for daddy. So today we are starting off this vlog, and I hope you're having a blessed day. It doesn't matter what it is. I hope you're having a blessed day. Good morning. Did I say that? Good afternoon. Good evening, and most of all, good night. I would like it to be when you cock up in your foot and I go watch this. So we are here starting off the vlog with the three of us. We want to let you know what we're going to be doing for Father's Day for that. So let me declare for me thing first. Me I got jerk so I got to do up on the back. In the back, on the, on the outside. So you know we are starting off from now. Let you have an idea what is going to be happening. Therefore, in case we are out there and music starts playing in and around, we can always put subtitle on what we are doing and then we can mute up the music so you won't be lost anywhere on the vlog, okay? So I'll be jerking some ag, which I've started already. Season that, 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 that pork was seasoned and if you're following me on Instagram, you would have seen me season up jerk pork. So it is about like 36 hours of marinating it got. I've tenderized it already. So when you see me with it again, I got the old pan, the pan, the pan. And I'll be probably jerking up some pineapples and some other little something, but I basically had that me I go response for and probably a potato salad. So let me throw it over to Jeremy can tell you know what he might go do. Yeah, so morning again people. Um I'm gonna be responsible for the chicken. Um You're not sure where I do with the chicken. I'm not sure where I do chicken as yet. Maybe rotisserie or something. Yeah, so you can't rotisserie. You sure about that? Yeah, let me see her. Shut up, that's tell them. Anyway, yeah, I'm not responsible for the chicken, so that's my part. So and we'll show you a little, as we go along, you know, we're going to show you. You know, oh, Miss Tia, I'm not left for no So the great camera girl, run a bush out there. Alright, guys, so good morning. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers there, out there today. Um, today, I'm going to be responsible for the cake. Um, it's not really a hard cake, it's just a very simple cake, you know, just to, maybe I'll do a little icing on top, maybe, we'll see. But yeah, that's what I'm mainly going to be responsible for today. I will help mom with a few little things of such, but as you guys know, I'm studying, so it won't be as much. But yeah, she has to study in and But out. my main thing would be just for, just the cake. So you guys will see when I start doing that. Okay, so three of us, Team Debbie, Team Jerk, Chick, Team Camera Girl. So at the end of it, when we finish the way I do, we'll show you little excerpts in between how we are preparing. So at the end of it, you will all tell us who for Team Edepan, Team Debbie, Team Jerry, Team Camera Girl. See you in the next clip. Safari, look at me here and I'm going to start for my little ball of rolling. So I'm going to jerk pork. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tenderize it properly. I'm going to have a slow little something. And this is some of the juice from the tenderizing I'm using it to base it as I go along so I'm just using it slow and I'll add that skin well soft and juicy and tender and as I go along I just have put my little juice I'm ever telling you something <coughs> pork is very deceiving it's a very deceiving meat this is 10 pounds of pork on the, on the pan and the jerk pan when I went to my butchers, I said, I want 10 for a pork. And my father's gave me. I said, no, just to my family. He said so much. I said, yes, look how pork is this evening. 10 pounds. So look at me here now. I have basic. You know, this is not the, the jerk pork tutorial. So I make sure so I put in the juice. When you, I'm doing the tutorial, you will know it go. I make sure so my skin well soft and juicy and succulent and all of that. So I have basic little by little. So my next movement. My pork supposed to be done. You start my ball and rolling. Me don't respond to nobody parry. Me I do my thing. Oh my look. All right, people. So this is where my my part kicks in. So 
as I mentioned this morning, I will be doing rotisserie chicken, right? So we have a chicken right here, a whole chicken right here, right? And we're going to season it up. So we have paprika, right? And a little bit of salt. And also, what's this? Grilled meats, Montreal chicken seasoning. So a little bit of that as well. So we have it already here. I'll put a little oil to um, so we can make a paste. So we're going to you know, rub it in, incorporate everything together. Cool. Just to make a paste. And once we make the paste, now we rub it on the chicken. All over the chicken. So it's supposed to be good, so I'll rub it on the chicken now. Short side everywhere. I need the wings, the legs, everything. Yeah. Alright. I can save a little for the inside as well. Yeah, let's do the outside as well. Everything up there. Up a blending. You understand me? So we'll rub up the inside as well. Once we do this now, we are going to leave it for um, going to leave it, leave it for soak to make the season soak tonight, right? And when you see us back, we will get it ready for putting on the um, to make it start ready right soon. All right, so we'll catch you back soon. All right, so see it there, people. We just string him up and put him on on the in the oven for go on ready right So you see it spin, yeah. So we're we'll gonna make it go and do it thing. Uh, how long now? Until it's ready. Yeah. So Parry, I'm me this you know. I made this pan the pan the pan yeah. May I go on? You see how my mellow? You see how my you see how my look here, you see how my you see how my thing melon jerky door. Yeah man, so may I give man another few minutes there. Whilst well, my base it with my little thing and you can take a little colour in between and so I turn it over one more time and then I go put some pineapple. Maybe me show you how me I do the pineapple pan it pan you know, just with little maybe a little apple or a little white up for just bring a little gig to it. So we stay and so we are roll. Camera girl, she not start nothing but you still in a race, camera girl are you about? Still in there. Alright, could be Alright guys, so it's my time now um for what I'll be contributing to Father's Day dinner to them. So I'm going to be doing a like a fudge sort of chocolate cake. So in this bowl, I have two plain cake mixes. We decided to use plain cake mixes because we just had them in the fridge, you know, so we just decided to use them up. So I have two plain cake mixes. I have two cups of water and one cup of oil and um, about a cup of cocoa powder. So to this, I'm going to add five eggs. Right. And now we're going to mix it up with our mixer. So because the mixer makes a lot of noise, guys, we're going to mix it up and we're going to come up and show you. Oh, and we've also preheated our oven to 350 degrees, which is 170. 75. So 175, yes. So our oven is preheated right now. So we're going to go mix up the batter and then we're going to come back and show you guys when we're adding in the other stuff. Alright guys, so now we've mixed up our batter. This is how it looks. This is the consistency. Alright, so I don't want it too dark because it's not like you know like a dark chocolate thing. So I don't want it too dark. So in here we have some 
They're like, how would I explain? You guys know kisses are there, that those are chocolate. They're not really chocolate chips. So they're, show them. Yeah, they're a bit bigger. So. Show it to the camera. So if you Take guys one on the spoon see. and show it to them or in your hand. Alright, so this is what they look like. Alright, so it's kind of like dark chocolate chips in a way. So we're going to be using um, as much as you desire, it's chocolate chips basically, as much as you want. So when this is baked inside of them now, when it's fully baked, it's going to melt. So each slice that you cut, or most of the slices that you cut, it have a little bit like a little fudgy um, center or inside to it because of the chocolates that melting. So we're going to just add a good amount in. guys so we're finished incorporating the chocolate chips now and we've mixed up everything and we put it into a bunt tin because you know we don't want it to be like a regular cake we want something to be extra so we put it into a bun tin so now we're going to put it in our oven and it's going to go for about 30 to 45 minutes or 30 to 40 minutes on 175 degrees which is 350 Fahrenheit so we're going to leave right in there to bake when it's finished or near to finish, we'll come back and show you guys. All right, Paris, so look here now. Everything changed now. This is like mashed potato in the middle. May have um, some festival here. This is um, Jer um, rotisserie chicken and my jerk pork. And guess what? Camera girl came come out of the oven. We are in a small kitchen and we don't have the space, everything's like over the original kitchen at home. But when you slice it, you'll see, we'll put pictures of slice of it and we'll post up on Instagram. And me alone end up in a, dad him look like him drink too much. Dad him, jerk him, I drink Appetite and Pepsi and it'll creep up on him, so you know it go. So look here, now plate up some food, so when we're done eat and something, we come back, talk to you, yeah. and then we just end the vlog. So keep me a comment, so to so, <laughs> so um, me just me end up over here, so see me over here, so with the chicken, and with the jerk box, and me alone end up, so they were supposed to, so it's a fail for them, they were supposed to come, and we have pineapples here too, where is the pineapple? What's the pineapple? Here? We have grilled pineapples, you know, and if everybody just leave everything for me, and me end up in a it. But I promise you, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, um, I am going to. The year day today, that's it. So, this is it. Grilled pineapple, jerk pork from me, Jerry's chicken, festival, mashed potato. And the cake is cooling, so I saw it in a party. But, look here, we still share with you and all of that. Okay, so you're back in at the next clip where me, I'm gonna make. I don't know, there will be nobody to talk to you except me. I probably can work right. But it's Father's Day and Dada enjoy himself for a month. Catch you. So here I am. It is Monday. Blessed Monday afternoon to you. Never finish up the vlog. So I am just here now trying to finish up. We didn't get to do what we wanted to do at the end of the vlog. Never get for what we want to do at all. Because the kids left everything on me. Jerry him got take up on him head. Gone go and taste Appleton and Pepsi. And you know, say Appleton and Pepsi are creep and creep up on you. A different story. Dad wasn't in it. It wasn't, you know, he was not supposed to be in it. So, what I wanted was to everybody finish their own. Um, them for them own little task that they got. Or for them own little activity. And then at the end of the vlog, would have presented it to you dish up and everything and stuff and you know deal with it in a decent way but jerry got off with him up and him pepsi came our girl was in and out studying her cake was finished we didn't have anywhere over in the other kitchen to put it so we took it over here after i i i dished and we ate we could have hardly eat i was so tired 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 so i just left it there so she came and she cut up and she shared and she didn't even remember to pick up the camera so that was how it ended but dad had a good day though it was fun even though them left everything for me i mean it's so i was so tired so i hope you have enjoyed but i'll make up to you in another little i'm gonna do a little cookout vlog i want to get this over to you seeing that on the see me cook so much I want to do it again, something like this. Not really Father's Day. Probably another week or two from now when camera girls um 
exams are over I want us to take up different tasks as mom and kids I wanted to see how much the kids are doing on their own you know we're gonna make a menu I do what I'm supposed to do or you're gonna be help us in the planning of the menu too and then we want you to say who to do what to do we want you to get involved okay you know maybe we do the menu planning live and then from there we go and then at the end we all present our different dishes so if you think you like something like that comment and give me some likes on the video that we can you know start going ahead you know we want you to get involved in it and then you at the end of it also you can say you know just give your feedback and all the kids are doing oh you think me did do everything because the thing is i am not supposed to be helping any of them so i figure more or less that's why jerry left the chicken and me i'm no I was not supposed to be helping. I will not be helping. I wanted to see what them can do on them own. You see what I'm saying? So we're going, we're going to be going more in depth. So I hope you have enjoyed what you see. It was good. Thank you all so much for Father's Day wishes for Dad. He also said to tell you, you know, now see Bank Yabara. But he says, he says thank you all so much. And him love you. But nobody pay him no mind. Maybe one day when the time is right, you know men all over. You got to respect him for what he believes in. You see, and uh, uh, every man does push up themselves in now. Uh, you don't know some man, some man are mind it. Some men, men are different as are we women. But you know, we, we bowl, we always come out. But I hope your, your, your dads in your life, whether husband, boyfriend, granddad, uncle, stepfather, fathers, whoever, I hope they all had a wonderful Father's Day. Hope you to cook some nice Jamaican. I knew you all cook some nice Jamaican food. Marco, big up yourself. Dinner did lit. You know what I'm saying? So, Father's Day is behind us now. And we give thanks. Because you know, say, guess what? The fathers, them, they always get left out. And you know, some of them not going good already. And then they not get no encouragement. We don't want to get worse. You see what I'm saying? So I just come now. To make myself present and for make you see what it go on. That wasn't how I intended it to do to go, but I'm gonna be working on it and we are gonna deliver big time fathers there or not. Hope you have liked it. And as I said before, leave your I know you leave your comments below. If it's the first time that you're watching me, um if it is okay and you feel comfortable and you wanna subscribe, I will thank you for your subscription and also to leave your comments below. I am um, so bomb today the the heaviest thing i pick up this morning was a cup of tea well since today and a real big plate of papayas <clears throat> but i do not i don't even go outside i am so tired and can i tell you something paris when i woke up this morning you know my f i don't know what happened to my camera there i was seriously pain up as i was telling you and i was saying to myself why am i so pained up well let me tell you something you see when you're too too tired it's not sleep is it all sleep is not on you need to rest so i just just chill back i'm gonna just rest and honestly now i'm feeling so much better i just sat and i some part i just sat i kicked back in our easy chair then i went to lie down i didn't even sleep but i realized that like my nerve ending there my body did just want to rest so i just rested out i'm feeling real good now so with tonight rest and so tomorrow i'll have another vlog for you thank you so much for your love I'm on to your comments too. <clears throat> Thank you so much for your support right on over here. And remember, if you want to get on to me, you've got to use my email address or through Instagram for now. We will soon have another WhatsApp number, which is much easier. But for now, Instagram and um, email. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you. Thank you so much for your comments, for your interaction and every single thing thank you for your support those of you who supports me so much on and off youtube and as usual never let the evil around you never let it take control of you steer on top of things <laughs>